my previous video entailed the mystery of how Red Poison ended up in a vintage CRT television. In this video, the device I will be discussing is a mystery itself, hiding in this suitcase. When I saw the listing on the Dutch version of eBay, I had to get it. One, because I never seen one before, and second, because I really like Philips computer equipment. It arrived wrapped in plastic. It's a weird device with a keyboard and LCD display and multiple inputs. The branding on it says Philips Data Systems, a name you can find on, for instance, floppy disks, but when you Google it, doesn't give a lot of hits. It also has a sticker with a name on it and HDSE. On the side it has these vents, and the label that tells us what this is, a surface processor. Interesting. This one has a standard powered in and a serial number that is 253, so I bet this had a small run. So the keyboard is one of those with capacitive touch, not too fond of those since they don't give a lot of feedback. The LCD and the Philips logo. Let's peek under the hood to see what it's hiding. It lifts out pretty easily. Here's the board. I remember hearing someone explain what this type of board is called, but I simply can't recall that term. Maybe someone can enlighten us in the comments. Let's take a look at some of the ICs and see if we can determine what they are. I'm a retro amateur, so maybe I will make the wrong assumptions of what the port does. Here we have 8 NEC chips. I think this is the RAM, 32K of it. 2 ROM chips probably? Let's flip over these Mostec chips to take a better look at the writing. These are two Mostec 8438s. Googling these I think they are serial I.O. controllers. This was an interesting chip to come around. This is a Cynetix 8439 SPC1610. After looking up some information, I sort of think this is a very old CPU, made by Philips since Cynetix was owned by Philips. I wonder, looking at this page online, if this service processor has something to do with the mainframe slash computers mentioned above. We have a clock crystal. This 96 pin mill connector which is missing a third of its pins. This group of chips, mainly the Texas Instruments SN74LS253 and 251 appear to be dual 4 or 8 line to 1 line data selector multiplexers. Sounds network related to me. Screwing loose this panel with all the connectors shows us mainly the ribbon cables to connect to the connectors. And more chips. These Cynetics and Texas Instruments chips are sort of quad-line receivers, I believe. Also, the connectors on the top are four 25-pin connectors, two 9-pin connectors, male and female labeled HHP and DTI, and a 96-pin parallel interface. I think it's time to do a smoke test. I did not see a quick way to get to the power supply. So this is really going to be a smoke test and I fear Reva caps are hiding in this, but I hope not. I guess we'll see. Let's plug in the power and turn it on. Much more noisy than I expected. Great, it boots really fast. The green says Philips service processor REL1. Enter select to list program catalog. Let's press select then. System test program. RHEL probably stands for a release, I expect. No cartridge present. Interesting. So I looked around the menu, which is not too large and doesn't give you a lot of options to maneuver through it, since you can literally only use the select or go button. It asks to connect a loop connect parallel interface. Do they mean the 96 pin one? Then enter go and the test starts. Out par 1 in par 1. So this is parallel port 1. To continue the test you need to keep pressing go. It doesn't just continue by itself. This appeared to be testing two line ports. Maybe in a future video I'll try to connect them together. Only wonder what is the use for that. And what does HDLC mean? If I google it, the most logical explanation would be high level data link control. But that's just a guess. More tests shown in the list. Interesting, I wanted to quickly clean away the sticker residue.
much better. So to recap, I'm left with a bunch of questions which I would love to get answered, with probably the main goal to see if I have computers in my collection that I could connect to it. For instance, I have a VME bus computer, would be a lot of fun to use this thing with that. The main question of course is, so what is this mystery computer? I'm a bit hesitant to name this a computer, but since the one chip appears to be a CPU and it has RAM and a sort of display, I will be calling this a computer for now. Is this computer maybe network related, a sort of early network tester? A test computer? Question mark, but for testing what? Another goal of making this video is that there was literally nothing about it on the web. Now there will be this video and also on my website I added it to the Philips page with some info and the questions that I have. Would be fun if with some other retro enthusiasts we can find out a bit more info about it. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.